How many of you heard from your doctor that eating red meat is unhealthy for you, can lead to heart disease, or can lead to obesity? Well, I'm here today to tell you that your doctor is wrong. That eating three ounces of red meat every day can actually be helpful for you and provide lots of nutrients. Did you know that eating three ounces of lean beef every day is only 170 calories? That is less than 10% of your daily intake, which is usually right around 2,000, they say, depending on how active you are and what you are doing in your diet. Well, also it can lead to less, lead to more than 10% of your 10 essential nutrients. Did you know that zinc, to get your daily intake of zinc, it takes three four ounce cans of tuna, which is up to 400 calories. That is more than 20% of your daily intake, and that is just to get zinc. Did you know that to get iron, it takes five and a half cups of spinach to um, get your daily intake of iron, and that is five bags of spinach. How many of you are going to eat five bags of spinach in a day to get your daily iron? Nobody. That's what I thought. Also, to get your thiamine, it takes one and one-third of chicken breasts to get your daily intake of thiamine, and that is up to 288 calories. That is a lot of calories. Now, for your riboflame, it takes two and a quarter chicken breasts, which is up to 400 calories. And then for your B12, which is helpful for your metabolism, it takes eight and a half chicken breasts. That is 2,000 calories. That is your right there, your daily intake in calories. Now, for your 25, for your Central um, for your 25 grams of protein that your three ounces of beef provides, which is half of your daily minimum just to maintain your body, it takes up to six tablespoons of peanut butter, which is 384 calories. And then the I think it's called edamame, which is used a lot in your tofu and stuff like that. Your vegans eat it takes. Three cups of that, which is all the way up to 900 calories, just to get your daily protein intake. That is a lot of calories just wasted right down the drain. And then for um, black beans, it's one and a quarter cup, and it is only 382 calories, but that's still, that's still double what your daily intake is. And how many of you are going to eat one and a half cups of black beans? Not very many, when you can have a nice, delicious, juicy steak. Also, 66% of your beef is your lean cut. So you can go to your local butcher and ask for lean cuts of beef and he'll have more than plenty. And also even most of you think hamburger isn't a lean cut of beef because you're thinking of really greasy, bad, juicy cheeseburgers. Actually, you can get ground beef that is 93% lean and only 7% fat. Or you can get 90-10, but that doesn't really count as your lean. That's going to be... For four ounces, that's going to be 200 calories, where instead your four ounces of the 93% is going to fall into 170 calorie and be helpful for you. Also, there are some cuts on the beef that is leaner than chicken. Yes, you're thinking of chicken as always being way more healthier than beef, but you're actually wrong. There's actually found to be more saturated fat in poultry. They did a test where... Beef has only 10 grams of saturated fat and it's 93% lean and ground turkey has all the way up to 15% saturated fat and also bison is down to 14% saturated fat. So, and then also your intramuscular fat that you're looking at there on your prime or your choice inside your steak, that is mainly made up of moderated saturated fat. That is what you find in your avocados and your olive oil which is very helpful for you which brings out I guess I've always heard it's helpful for your skin and healthy like that I don't really don't really couldn't tell you that but I just know avocados and olive oil are healthy now that I provided you with some of these benefits and I got these from the masters of beef advocacy and beef and beef it's what's for dinner dot org and I will be going back to you because I'm going to demonstrate to you just a little bit of recipe and show you where you can get some of these lean cuts of meat I got here a packaging a flank steak. I'll say flank steak right there. And I got this from Heartland Foods. And it'll tell you the price per pound and everything right here on the packaging. And it even says beef flank steak. And it says born, raised, and harvested in the U.S. Excellent for marinating. And I told you where I got it. I got it from Heartland Foods right here in Beatrice, Nebraska. And I'll bring out to show you a little bit of how I cut this up. 
for some nice, healthy fajitas that the whole family can join in on. And I'll give you the recipe. So you're going to want to cut up your steak here into little strips, just like that, just nice edible strips that you can put onto your taco shell and eat. And I got with me my other ingredients to be really helpful. You got your vegetables right here you're going to be throwing in there, your bell peppers, your onions, your flour tortillas, and I, I'm not going to be going totally healthy. I'm, I went with the white ones. You can go with probably some whole grain if I got that out there. That might be a little bit healthier than these white flour tortillas. And then where I got the recipe from is I got this right here. You can go to the store and you can get find any of these fajita packs. I just went to Taco Bell one because it was a two-for-one deal, and you can't pass that up. You got, you got McCormick's out there. You got Best Choice, anything. And right here, it will show you right here on the back of the package, step-by-step step what to do. And this one is called for onions and bell pepper. And I'll have to get some water out. And you can serve it with your sauce, your favorite salsa, cheese. If you like cheese, you want to add some dairy to your plate so you get your full my plate. Sour cream if you want to add some more dairy. That might be a little bit, a little bit unhealthy. And one thing I left out, if you're going to cook this steak here, it'd probably be best to be healthiest. Is probably use your olive oil so you're not using your really fatty vegetable oil. And make sure maybe dab the the meat to get all the oil off of it so you don't have that excess oil and you're not bringing that into your body but yes this is why three ounces of lean beef every day will give you your 10 essential nutrients with over 10 percent or less than 10 percent of your daily calories and show you that what, what other foods you have to eat and how um, chicken is not always the best thing because the, your DASH diet and your bowl diet, they did two comparison where bold is is beef optimum lean diet and dash is your your white meat and your fruits and vegetables and they did comparison, you actually got more protein out of the bold diet with less saturated fat. So don't be afraid to throw three ounces of lean beef into your diet. Thank you for your time.